On Monday night, my office arrested Nason Joaquin Garcia. See his photograph there. And two of his uh, co-defendants in a major sex trafficking and sex abuse case. Charges were filed against them on Tuesday. The charges include a series of 26 alleged felonies committed in Los Angeles County between 2015 through 2018. Joaquin Garcia was arrested in Los Angeles following an investigation into those alleged crimes. The type of crimes that belong nowhere in our society, from human trafficking, production of child pornography, oral copulation, rape, statutory rape, child molestation, extortion, conspiracy, and more. These crimes are alleged to have been committed during the time that Joaquin Garcia was leading as the so-called servant of God, as the disciple, as he is known within this religious organization called La Luz del Mundo, an international religious organization that is headquartered in Mexico. His co-defendants acted in concert with him to accomplish the crimes alleged, and they were also members of this organization. The co-defendants' names in the complaint are Alondra Ocampo, Susana Medina Oaxaca, and Acelia Rangel Melendez. Ocampo and Medina Oaxaca were arrested on Monday, and an arrest warrant has been issued for Rangel Melendez, who is currently at large. Uh, I want to make an admonition here that please recognize that charges are at this point only allegations. These defendants, these four defendants, are presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. But make no mistake, we are going to act vigorously to prosecute these individuals and bring this case to a close. Why are we going to do that? Right now, California is the center of human trafficking. We have the highest number of human trafficking cases reported in the country. There were more than 1,300 cases reported here in California in 2017 alone. And we know that there are far more than those that are reported. And that's why this case is so important. Human trafficking is among the fastest growing crimes and criminal enterprises in the world, and it is estimated to bring in some $150 billion around the world every year. This is going on in our state much more than we can prosecute it. We need to make it a priority, and here at the California Department of Justice, we do. We help bring down the world's largest online brothel, the former Backpage.com, and we convicted its CEO. I testified back in 2017 before the U.S. Senate to push for the passage of the federal Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act, which became law in 2018. We have fought to protect juveniles who are victims of trafficking, bringing 54 felony charges against alleged operators of a statewide sex trafficking ring in Tulare in 2017. And in 2018, we charged operators in of an organization called Rainbow Bright in the Bay Area with 59 criminal counts for alleged human trafficking, among other violations. Human trafficking changes lives. It kills. It doesn't belong on this planet. We want to and we have to take it on wherever it is happening. How were we able to uncover these crimes that we're announcing today? We set up a website last year for clergy abuse. That website, which is oag.ca.gov slash clergy abuse, is an important site. It's been used. I want to take a moment to talk about how important that website is in these types of cases. Because that website 
gives those who are survivors of abuse by members of the clergy or religious organizations a direct line to the California Department of Justice. And it gives them a way to submit those reports that they want to get to us confidentially and to law enforcement. This came, this case, which goes far beyond a, an incident of abuse, came through us through a tip sent in through the clergy abuse website. As you can see, if you report it, we will act on it and we will follow through. And as you can see, this has become a case that goes far beyond one individual, one clergy member, one victim, someone who was the victim of some form of abuse. If you are a survivor of abuse in this particular case, or you have information about the misconduct of anyone involved in this case, we want to hear from you. We want you to report any incident that you're aware of. You deserve justice, and we want to help you pursue it. We are asking you to please come forward and share what you know. You can call us at 323-756-2100. I'm sorry, 765 You can call us at 323-765-2100. 323-765-2100. Or you can file your complaint online at oag.ca.gov slash LLDM. I think it's also important to point out that our office can make resources available to those who have come forward based on the needs of those individuals. We want you to know that we don't consider you defendants or perpetrators. We want you to know that we consider you victims if you've suffered some from this abuse or if you were caught in that cycle. The California Department of Justice will never turn a blind eye to sexual violence and trafficking. You are victims and you deserve our support and our assistance. We will do everything in our power to keep our community safe. And here I want to point out two related matters that are critical to cases like this. I often get asked a question about any work that we're doing on investigations, wildfires, political abuse, criminal wrongdoing within a governmental agency, and oftentimes I have to give the response, we don't discuss our investigations. And I'm often asked, why are you trying to hide something? This is an example of why we do, do not talk about our investigations. This is a reason why we do not talk about who is providing us with tips or responding to our requests for information on these websites and hotlines. We took this information and we acted on it. And we did not discuss it with anyone because we wanted to protect the victims who oftentimes are deadly afraid to come forward. We hope to prosecute this to the end, but we were able to succeed in finding victims who came forward because we guaranteed them confidentiality. And we hope now we'll be able to uh, confidently assure them success in this prosecution. 